Hello, and welcome to the SAP Business One overview video. Today we're going to be looking at purchasing. Specifically, we're going to be looking at purchase orders. So let's go into our menus here on the left hand side and let's go into purchasing module. And you're going to see that we have different options here purchase request, quotation, but today we're going to take a look at a purchase order. Now, I can create a purchase order in a couple of different ways. The first is I can add the purchase order manually by just adding in information here. I can go in, I can choose my uh, vendor of choice. Then once I have my vendor in place and all of that information comes in, now I can go in and I can look at the items that I need to order here. And we're gonna choose three items and we're gonna add that into the system. Then I can look under my quantity and let's say that I'd like to order 10 of each of these. And I'm just gonna update that uh, order manually. Now we can see down here that the buyer is James Chan. However, that buyer can be changed to any other buyer uh, within the area. But James does happen to be the buyer that is defaulted over to this vendor that we have here at the top. Under the logistics tab, you're going to see that the ship to and the, and the pay to uh, is automatically populated. However, if I do have a different pay to address, I could click on that and I could change my pay to address here. And all of the ship to and pay to addresses are based on the business partner here for the vendor of Far East Imports. Under the accounting tab, I can see where I can have the payment terms for this vendor uh, listed and if there's going to be any attachments, maybe some specific documents or maybe a contract that I have with that vendor that I want to be able to have attached onto this purchase order. Going back over to the contents tab, I can just go in and I can add that into the system. Now, a couple of other ways that I can do this is with a blank uh, purchase order, I could go back uh, to the previous one and I could go down here and I could say duplicate. Very simple and easy way for me to duplicate the items. It is going to now ask me to put in a vendor number. Uh, maybe it's going to be the same vendor. Maybe it's going to be a different one. That's completely up to you. But if you have a purchase uh, order that you do on a regular basis with items, you don't have to continue to put them in each individual time. It can come right over from uh, a previous order here. Now, the other thing that I can do is if I have purchase requests as part of my process within my organization, as we see here, and I go over to a purchase request uh, that I have within the system here, I can see that once I find one that is uh, open, we're going to go in and I could go down here to the right hand uh, bottom button and I could say copy to and copy that to a purchase order very simply and very easily. Thank you very much for listening to the overview video today on purchase orders.